Welcome to an episode of Real Talk with Bobby Maximus. Now, what I want to talk to you about today is the fact that your workouts are trash. They're garbage. They're not working. If you've been working out for three months, if you've been working out for six months, if you've been working out for 10 years and you haven't seen any progress, like you haven't lost any weight, you haven't put in any muscle, you're not, your clothes don't fit any different, you don't look any different, it's not your genetics. It's not that you don't have some secret or special workout plan. And I know what type of person you are. You're the type of person to bounce from workout plan to workout plan to workout plan. We call them program jumpers in the industry. You try something out for three weeks. It's not working well enough. So you get a new program and then you try that for three weeks and that doesn't work either. And you try it again. Have you ever thought to consider that maybe the common link in this chain of failure, in this chain of dysfunction, is you. That if you've tried three or four or five or 10 workout programs and they're not effective, that maybe the problem is you. Maybe the problem is the effort that you put into it. Maybe the problem is your work ethic. Like, here's the deal. Again, if you haven't made any progress, there's really only two possibilities. One, you don't work hard enough, which in 99% of cases is the truth. People just don't want to work hard. We live in a day and age where people roll into the gym, they swipe their little membership card, they do the same warm up on the same treadmill, they do the same workout every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday. They don't really ever push themselves, they're not willing to suffer, they're not willing to be uncomfortable. And then they sit around and they cry and complain that they're not making any progress. That's one possibility. The other possibility is your workouts are trash. Like you're not doing good stuff in the gym. You found your program online from some 21 year old trainer that doesn't have a clue how to train other people and you bought in and your workouts are garbage. Those are your two options. Because I will tell you this, working out, the realm of physical fitness, it's the one area of your life where if you put in some real effort, it's guaranteed to work. You're going to get better. It's in fact, the only area of life where that's true. Let me give you an example. You could be a perfect driver. You could have zero accidents. The best rate that like State Farm Insurance can offer you or Geico or whatever insurance company you use. And you're stopped at a red light one day You've got both your little hands on the wheel. You're looking around, you're scanning all the things they taught you to do in driver's ed. And some idiot is on their phone. They don't see you and they rear end you at the red light. Now you're in an accident. Now your car's ruined. Your insurance goes up. That's 100% not your fault. You could run a good business. You could do everything right. You could take all the courses. You could work morning, noon, night, into the night, seven days a week. And something could happen to cause your business to fail that's completely 100% out of your control. And then relationships. Like relationships, it's a mess today out there. You could be a perfect partner. You do everything right. You can treat your partner like gold. They could cheat on you. They could ghost you. They could dump you. Completely 100% not uh, in, in, in your control, right? But with physical fitness, it should be different. I will tell you this, regardless of genetics, regardless if you have the ability or not to be world-class, if you show up every day, if you eat the right food, if you sleep a little bit more, if you put in the right effort, 100% of the time you will improve. I've never met a person in my life, and I've trained thousands of people that doesn't have the ability to improve. So back to the original topic of the video. If you're one of these people who hasn't seen any improvement, like you've been going even 30 days, you should see an improvement. A lot of my new clients will lose eight to 10 pounds in 30 days without even really trying that hard. So if you're one of these people who you, you put in 30 solid days and you haven't seen a massive change, your workouts are trash, you're not working hard enough, you need to check your priorities. You need to double down on your work ethic and you need to do more. That's 
the harsh reality. And that's 30 days. Imagine you've been going six months, 180 days, or a year, or two years, and you've completely plateaued. That's, that's it. Your workouts are trash. Your work ethic is trash. Like, you need to get it together. And, and here's the thing that drives me nuts, right? Like, there's this old saying, like, I never promised you it would be easy, but I promised you it would be worth it. That's 100% true. I'm not saying it's easy to go to the gym and make yourself suffer and put yourself in an uncomfortable position. It's not easy to dedicate yourself day after day after day after day. But there's two things with that, right? One, you are the one that said you wanted this. Like you're the one that's miserable when you go to bed at night. You're the one that hates the reflection looking back at them when they see themselves in the mirror. You're the one that feels bad. You're the one that wants more energy, that wants a better sex life, that wants to make more money at work. You said you wanted it. What, do you think someone was just gonna push a button and it was gonna fall into your lap or someone was gonna hand it to you? Like, you're gonna have to work for it. It's gonna hurt a little bit. Anything in life that's worth having takes some real, genuine effort. So that's like, that's like the first thing. It shouldn't be easy. And, and by the way, if it was easy, everybody would have it. Like there's no one in the history of the world that said, I don't want six pack abs. I don't want to look my best. I don't want to look like I did when I was in college. I, 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 I just don't want that. I just want to be fat and lazy and have a gut that hangs over my belt. Like no one's picking that option. Every single person on this planet if you could wave a magic wand to make them look better and feel better, they would take it. Now, why don't they do it? Because it's hard work, because it takes some real, real effort. That's the reality. So like that's, that's like the first kind of thing, right? But the other side of the coin is, is you might think it's hard to work out an hour a day. You might think it's hard to work out seven hours a week. You might think it's hard to eat healthy food. You know what's really hard? I got a good buddy that's an occupational therapist. When you're 60 years old and you can't walk up and down your own stairs, when you can't reach your hand above your head to get a cup out of a cupboard, when you have to have an occupational therapist coming over two times or three times a week to help you bathe, like there are a lot of people who have a really, really difficult time with life because they let themselves get unfit, because they didn't take care of their body. You know what else isn't easy? Big medical bills, getting heart disease, being stuck in a wheelchair or having to use a cane, not being able to enjoy the things that you love because you were lazy and you really let yourself get out of shape, not being able to walk across an airport, having to rely on other people, having to drive around the Costco parking lot for an hour because you can't park at the back of the parking lot because you're too fat. Those are things that are not easy. Dying young, not easy. I mean, I guess you wouldn't know because you'd be dead, but certainly not easy for your family members, right? Or even worse, having a stroke and then being bedridden because you didn't take care of yourself. The reality is there are so many more difficult things than working out an hour a day. And an hour a day is preventative medicine for all of those things. You know what else is hard? To be depressed, to deal with anxiety, to be miserable, to look in the mirror. I mentioned this before in the video, but to look in the mirror and absolutely hate the reflection looking back at you. That's what's hard. So here's the thing. Whoever you are, wherever you are, you tuned in, you saw the little thumbnail to your workouts are trash, your feelings got hurt. You can be like, I want to hear what this guy's talking about. You need to work harder. You need to invest in yourself. If you've plateaued, if you're stuck, if you're showing up to the gym doing the same thing day after day after day and you're not making any progress, your workouts are trash. They're garbage. You need to start putting some effort in. You need to start suffering a little bit. You need to start making it hurt. Do that, and I promise you, it'll suck for a minute, but everything in your life will get better. Or don't do it and keep doing your trash workouts 
And then just keep hating your reflection. Just keep going to bed miserable at night. Keep feeling bad. Keep having no sex drive. Keep just being miserable. I mean, choice is yours. Work for it or I guess just let it go.